Welcome to another day of algebra. Today we'll be solving and graphing the absolute value inequality. 5 times the absolute value of 3 minus 2x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 27. Our first step is to get the absolute value by itself on the left side. So we subtract 2. Our next step is to divide both sides by 5. So we get the absolute value of 3 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 5. 3 minus 2x has to be either greater than or equal to 5 or less than or equal to negative 5 for our inequality to still be true. So that's how we set up these two inequalities. Our first step will be to subtract 3 from each side and we get negative 2x is greater than or equal to 2. Since we have to divide by a negative, we have to flip the sign. We get x is less than or equal to negative 1. Again, we subtract 3 from both sides. We divide both sides by a negative 2. So our possible values of x could be less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 4. When we put this in interval notation, we say that it could be anywhere on the interval from negative infinity to negative 1. And negative 1 gets a bracket because it's included in the interval. And then we say from 4 to infinity because it could be anything greater than 4. To show that x could be anything in either set, we put the little union symbol between them. To graph this, we fill in a circle on negative 1 and on positive 4 to show that they could be possible answers. And then our arrows point outwards.